Knicks for the in the fifth game of the West Coast swing, headed in Staples Center against a tough Clippers team, but the Knicks would bring their A game on defense, and Derrick Rose would lead this team on the offensive end, really just putting this team back on track. You know, after a slow start, D Rose got us going. He was absolutely in his bag, unstoppable offensively, and was able to get the offense going. And in the second half, the Knicks would be clinging. You know, obviously the Clippers are a good team. Clippers gave a big fight, but this Knicks defense was a pillar all game and really held it down. And in the fourth quarter, when we needed to close the show, we would do it with the starting five of Derrick Rose, R.J. Barrett, Reggie Bullock, Julius Randle, and Taj Gibson closed the show in a fantastic fashion, man. What a win. Great win. Knicks close it 106 to 100. Get their third win on this West Coast trip. Hey, we wanted a three. We got the three, CK. I mean, we've had a lot of good wins this season, man, but this one has to be up there. Mm -hmm. This one has to be up there against a tough Clipper team. Fifth game out of six straight on the road. Coming off a tough loss in Phoenix. And uh, collectively, they, they took it. Collectively, they took it, man. Great effort. Great win. Yeah, man. We went back to what we've been doing all season, and that was playing defense yep. and then going to offense. And this, like you said at the top, this game was led by defense. And it was just so – it was fun to watch. Like, I, I – I don't know about a lot of you guys. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably agree, but watching this team play defense the way that we play defense yeah. and watching it turn into offense the way it did today, like it, it, it's just fun to watch. And that, that's why this game, um, a, 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 a game that was very needed because like you just mentioned, we played uh, a rough one in um, Phoenix and definitely an even rougher one uh, against Denver and then coming up to play against the Clippers yeah. who are right there at the top of the league as well as those other two teams that we just played. And the Knicks look like, you know, they had amnesia. And that's what we always got to look at. We got to come into these games as if those other ones did not happen. And we played well, man. Reggie Bullock stepped in there man. to the spot that drafted him. And said, remember me? We're shorthanded once again. No IQ, no Burks. Yes. And this team fought from beginning to end. And as you, I got to start with D Rose, man. I have to start with D Rose because yeah. knowing that those two guys were out, knowing that our bench was going to be shorthanded, Derek Rose was unstoppable mm -hmm. in this game, bro. Ab absolutely in his bag. Got to his spots with ease. Got the offense flowing with ease. Pushed the pace, pushed the tempo when he needed to. You know, the flip shot is on the money now. We talking about we talking about IQ's floater. The Derrick Rose push shot yeah. is almost automatic right now, bro. Yeah. And you mentioned Bullock. Second half Bullock was critical in this game defensively. He was chasing mm -hmm. Paul George around all the time. He had he had his shots at Kawhi Leonard. I thought defensively his effort was great. 5 for 12 from downtown, bro. That's where we yeah. needed him. 24 points for Reggie Bullock, Huge. along with two steals and a block. Come on, man. That, that was sensational for us tonight. Much needed, bro. It was a tough start. Yeah. Once again, watching number six do what he does. But the minute Buy Derrick Rose came in there, the team looked completely different, yeah. settled down. And it, it was settled down, but also faster paced on the same time. You Big know what time. I mean? I, I just absolutely love, love, love. I can't talk about it enough yeah. how well we look defensively against one of these top teams in, in the man. NBA, especially after those last two games. I, yeah. I cannot talk about that enough. Uh, second half, man, we really forced a ton of turnovers. Clippers overall uh, turned it over 13 times. So you had mm -hmm. an opportunistic Knicks defense, which is key, especially when we're shorthanded. Every, every inch counts. And I thought the defense was solid. How about my guy Todd Gibson in crunch time, bro? That crunch time lineup of Rose, RJ, Bullock, Randall, and Taj was sensational in that fourth quarter. Taj was a warrior battling with Cousins on the boards. Um, solid effort by him as well, bro. Taj Gibson has just been so key for us for the last few months. And, yeah, today was Huge. another one of the things. Silent night uh, statistically, but it's what you see on the court. And he yeah. was just phenomenal for us against so, yeah, I'm glad that you mentioned Taj Gibson for sure because he was he was great. He was great. Really good for us. And Kit hitting key free throws at the end of the mm -hmm. game too. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Taj did his time. Taj was huge, bro. Absolutely mm -hmm. huge. RJ, you know, RJ I thought had some clutch buckets in the fourth. 
Mm-hmm. They were able to find him for a nice elbow three there, and he knocked that down with ease. And then in the end, man, we we wanted a closer. You know, D-Rose, I think he, he kind of came down a little bit, but our all-star delivered. <sighs> delivered. They went with the two-man game, Rose and Randall, yeah. down the stretch, trying to get Randall on some mismatches. They isolated him on the left side of the floor, and baseline Julius went to work, man. Had one over Reggie Jackson, uh, took Batum to work. Took Paul, Paul George to work. Uh, mm-hmm. It didn't matter. And even though, you know, listen, it was an up and down game for Julius. He finished with 14 points and 14 boards. Decision making was kind of questionable. Four turnovers wasn't that great. When it mattered, he took us home. And that, that's all you wanted from him, to take us home when we wanted it, when we needed it. The rest of those guys did their part. Bullock, RJ, uh, uh, Rose, Taz, they did their part. Our all-star took us home. 106 to 100. We out of there, man. We got our three on the road. Hopefully we get four against the Lakers, but this was a critical, critical victory. Huge. Bro. Man, yo, Devos, fantastic performance, man. man. Outstanding, man. Him, yeah. him and, and Todd Gibbs, man. I mean, wow. Wow. What more can you what, what more can you say? What more can you say, man? And I was here for, you know, the infamous two for eighteen from John Starks and that and that terrible <laughs> finger roll from Ewan, man. I just was like, Oh my God. <laughs> Lord. I I, I I kicked my T V off the damn stand back then. Yeah, but just the same as anything, man. I I stayed in there with them, and I, I I'm still ho- going to continue to hold them down, man. I love the Knicks, man. I hey, love them. That's I, the I'll never go. I'll never betray them for anything. That's else. what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. 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 <laughs> What's good? What up, yeah. man? <laughs> Listen, I need to see yours all in the chat right now because first of all, everyone told us we couldn't beat a legitimate team after we mm. lost to the Suns, mm-hmm. after we lost some other games. Mm-hmm. Everybody on mainstream media said the Knicks can only beat teams that are equal or less than them. I need our respect because we just beat the Los Angeles Clippers at the Staples Center. Okay? Not in yeah. no rinky dink win. Not in no, you know, one point win. We beat them by multiple possessions. So put some respect on our name. We did it without Julius Randle playing his best basketball. Put some respect on our name. Shout out to Reggie. I never thought I would have said that there was a moment in time where we didn't want Reggie Bullock to see the court in the fourth quarter. I take that back. That was disrespectful. I apologize. (laughs) Um, (laughs) And there (laughs) Rose continuing to prove me wrong. You know, like I said, Quickly does yeah. not seem to be ready. And I said that I was nervous about this whole D-Rose thing. I'm going to admit that I am wrong about it consistently until the end of time because he is not hindering um, IQ's development yeah. in the slightest. He's just yeah. helping it, and he has been an asset to this team. This was, this was a great game because it also showed that the Knicks are capable of winning one even when Julius Randle yes. is not putting yeah. up the biggest Huge. numbers yeah. on the yeah. board. And that is huge going into a series because Julius Randle is going to have games where he does not play well. Yeah. It's just the nature of the beast. You cannot be on your A game every single game. Sometimes you just have a bad night. Mm-hmm. And it shows that the New York Knicks, even with all the holes we still have to fill offensively, we have a solid foundation, a solid supporting cast, and I love it. I love it here, guys. I love it <laughs> yes. here. All the way through the 80s, through the 90s, this is one of my best seasons as a Knicks fan ever, because you know what? You see the babies growing up. I told my kid early in the season, in order for the Knicks to start to win, they got to learn how to lose first. Then they got to learn how to win. Now we're talking about the playoffs. We got to learn how to close out a series. But no matter what it might come down to this year, it's been a phenomenal, phenomenal season. I'm happy for all the Knicks haters around, all the Bulls lovers, the Cav lovers, the Golden State Warriors, we're coming. Our time is coming. Trust me when I tell you. You know, this is the best win of the year, man. If you wasn't a Knicks fan and we was losing, then don't be a Knicks fan now, man. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? And um, shout out to Derrick Rose, man. I mean, this dude was just playing lights out, 25 points. I mean, as soon as he came in the game, you just see the impact of this team, man, because he was down 10 nothing. But it's like you say, it's not how you start, it's how you finish, man. And we came back and we did what we were supposed to do. We were supposed to beat them. So I don't want to hear no excuses that we can't beat good teams. We just beat one. So what else do you want next? Yeah. The Lakers are next. We're going ha- we to hand them an L, too. Yeah. I'm hyped right now. So, you know, Bullock, man, this dude was, hit five threes, 24 points. And I thought the defense of R.J. Barrett, 
Derrick Rose and Julius Randle at the end of the game was yep. just top notch, man. It, it really, they really closed the deal for us. Clutch, bro. Right. And Mark Jackson, man, like like he said, there goes that man, Julius Randle, mm-hmm. all NBA, you know what I mean, most improved player, and mm-hmm. he closed the deal. So DeMarcus Cousins, you can hold this L, too. Yeah. And I thought that the, one of the biggest uh, reasons why we won is the Knicks bench outscored the Clippers bench 42-28. to 28. Big time. The Knicks defense held the it. Clippers to 12. Uh, the, the Knicks defense held the Clippers to uh, 12 for 35 from three. And then Kawhi Leonard, who? P- PG, who? Marcus <laughs> Morris, who? Man, get them out of here, man. Big time win. Let's get into it. Let's get right to it, right? Let's, Let's do it like this. Let's do it on, on some Uncle Murder. Thought I wouldn't knock it down, Ricky. Pull it, pull it. See me on the wing. <laughs> <laughs> Pass it over here. I can pull it, pull it. Yeah, I can switch Uncle Murray's line and send him back at it. Yeah, big time shots for Reggie Bullet. He handling his business all over the week. Three o'clock, five o'clock, twelve o'clock, nine o'clock, seven o'clock. All angles on the three point line. He knocking it down. Get that man his paper. Get that man his bread. He's doing it on both sides of the court. Okay, PG, you had fourteen in the first half. Come here. Let me put these clamps on you. Mm. Let me shut that down in the second half. Make sure you don't get nothing. At the same time, I'm gonna continue on hitting my jumpers. You know what I'm saying? And you got to salute D-Rose for what he's doing. Yeah. You know, it's a Mother's Day. I didn't think D-Rose was going to bring Valentine's into Mother's Day the way he was passing out them roses so easily on the court. God almighty, man, thank you, Rose, for doing what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? With Julius, I'm a and having a good game. That's okay. Got down to the last four minutes. That's when big-time players start. They, they, they stand up when the game is on the line. You heard my man out there in Philly. I would say Mark Jackson said it. My, um, mama, there goes that man. But my man in Philly said, Mama, there goes that man. Julius, let me get the ball. Oh, I got I got on um, Beverly on me, too small. Jump over the top. Another pick and roll. Oh, I got I got PG on me, too small. Shoot over the top. Oh, stop clock running out. Step to the right side. That left lean. Yeah, I call it the electric slide when he be hitting that jumper, man. The man doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? Big time for win for us. Now we got a chance to come back four and two. These Lakers, I want them. I need to see the Lakers, you yes. know what I'm saying? Nobody thought we was going to beat the Clippers, but we learned from the Phoenix game. We learned from the Denver game, and that game carried over right here. No, ain't no barber shots open. Put the Clippers down. The Knicks is in town, you know what I'm saying? And we're here for two nights. Back to back games from the Sunday to Tuesday. We got we about to handle our business right here with the Lakers, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta love it. You gotta appreciate it. We're still fighting off Miami. We're still fighting off Boston. We're still yeah. fighting off the Lakers. You gotta appreciate it. The men swinging. They ain't going down without fighting, you know what I'm saying? You gotta love it, appreciate it. Get the haters off our backs, you know what I'm saying? We're doing what we gotta do. You gotta love it.